Your first te- uh, tip in stir fry is what? Heat the wok. Heat the wok. You gotta and, heat your wok. And you don't even it's so preheating. It, it's, it's important to have a hot uh, pan, yes. right? Yes. It's it's important before you put whatever meat or vegetables in yeah. that your pan is hot. But you're right. You don't even need a wok because I'm gonna show you two different things. We have a pan and we have a wok. Okay. But right now we're gonna make a chicken and broccoli stir fry, which is you know a classic that you would get at a Chinese restaurant. Sounds good. So a key before you actually put the meat in that hot pan is you want to this, marinate it. Go okay. ahead, give it a is good it okay stir. Is it okay that it's sizzling? Uh-huh. Okay. Sizzling is good, you want that sound. Okay. So you toss, I'm using chicken thighs because they're a little bit more forgiving. They keep a lot more of that moisture. In, uh, in the cooking process, but okay. I toss it in a little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of soy sauce. So when you put it in there, that um, the cornstarch has absorbed some of the moisture, so you get that nice sear that you want okay. when you're when you're getting that sure. restaurant style stir fry. Sure. And what type of oil are you using? I'm using canola oil. You can use any high heat vegetable oil okay. that you have around. Okay. Right. So here's another tip. After you, this this chicken is fried, right? We're going to take it out. Let me give it a good stir. We're gonna transfer it to a bowl. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And then we're gonna add a little bit more oil and we're going to put our broccoli in. So the other tip is you want to cook your meat and your vegetables separately. separately. So go ahead and add the broccoli in. All right. Yeah? Doing a great job. Okay, so you give it a good stir, right? So your pan is so hot, so you want to constantly be moving your vegetables or your meat to make sure that things don't overcook. You can add a little splash of water at this point if you want to steam that broccoli, but it really is just a matter of minutes. All right, you can add some teriyaki. I'm just going to reach up behind you. So at this point, you add a little bit of teriyaki, whatever sauce you want. Okay, and now add the chicken back in. Oh, really? Already? That's, That's it. That's ready? Okay. That's it. And another minute or two of all of the sauce and that the, there's some sesame seeds in there, the teriyaki, okay. and dinner or lunch is ready. That's How awesome. easy is that? That's great. I love that. Okay, so here is what your dinner is going to look like when it's done. How about that? Well, yeah, if you it's put it like wine. that, very nicely done. We eat with our eyes first, right? My That's right. presentation is <laughs> okay. everything. Okay, good. So what's next? Okay, so what's next? We are going to fry some tofu. Oh, you're good, you're good. tofu. <laughs> you know what? I actually agree with you. I'm not a huge tofu fan, but yeah. in this flavoring, I think it's delicious. Really? Tofu is really high in protein. Okay. We're actually using sprouted tofu, so um, it's even healthier for you. Non-GMO. Okay. Sprouted tofu. Okay, so here's the key to getting really crispy tofu. Okay. Is once again cornstarch. Cornstarch is your best friend when you're talking about Asian cooking. So you toss it in a little bit of cornstarch and that's it. You don't need to dip it in all sorts of um, different processes to get a nice coating. Look how crispy it turns out. And that's out. basically what you do. I, I guess I don't like about tofu is the, the, consistency? the consistency. So that would do it, right? All right. Well, let's see if you like this better. I'd love for you to try it. So all you do is once it's, I cubed it, mm-hmm. fried it, we're going to add a little bit of sweet chili. Okay. Okay. Just enough to coat. Right. And I have all of Kinda these recipes. Kind of looks like orange chicken. It does a little bit, yeah. right. And some Tastes green like onions. Mm-hmm. You give it a good toss. Okay, now give it a try. See, that doesn't look too bad. It doesn't, right? I didn't know what it was. But, okay, is it, are you going to, oh, you see, I don't know. Okay, you know, that's good. That's not, that's not bad at all. It's delicious, right? Yeah. It's actually very good. All right, very good. So you've got, okay, tofu, you've changed me. Mm -hmm. How about shrimp? And how easy was that? That was so easy. You could put that, again, with some vegetables or whatever. Okay, I see some shrimp, so you can do seafood too. I did coconut curry. You just add a little bit of uh, green curry paste. You could also do curry powder if you don't have that around. Some coconut milk. You add a bunch of vegetables. I have cabbage and mushrooms and carrots. And then at the very end, you're going to put your shrimps. And here's the thing about seafood. It cooks very quickly. So if you want a quick, easy weeknight meal, seafood is great because it cooks very quickly. You just want to make sure that you don't overcook it. A couple of minutes, turn the heat off. It's going to poach in all of that beautiful coconut curry liquid. You've got dinner. Hey, it looks great and it's easy. It's Thank you. easy. It's all easy. Right. Thanks, Roni. We'll put these recipes on our website. You can go to dinnerreinvented.com for those also.